In our next example of how to use the ideal gas equation PV equals nRT, we came up with this example here. It says, what is the temperature, or it asks, I should say, what is the temperature of 9.87 liters of a gas that is at 6,280 torrs of pressure? All right, they want to know the temperature, so let's take the ideal gas equation and solve that one for temperature first, which means divide both sides by nR and flip the equation around. That means the temperature is equal to the pressure times the volume divided by the number of moles times the constant, the gas constant. All right. They gave us pressure, but they gave us in terms of torr, not in terms of pascals. So we have to convert. And remember how we did that? We have an example of that in a previous video where we have 6,280 torr, and we multiply times the conversion factor. We want pascals and torr at the bottom. And so pascals, we have 101,325 pascals, which is atmospheric pressure in pascals, divided by 760 torr, which is the number torr for atmospheric pressure. Remember, that stands for millimeters of mercury. And so now we take 6280, multiply times 101,325, and divide by 760. And we have 836,264. 836 or 837, 264 pascals. Again, this is way more significant figures than we need, but we'll just throw them in there. All right, so we have a pressure of 837,264 pascals, which is a little bit more than eight times atmospheric pressure. All right, next, the volume. Well, the volume should go in the equation in terms of cubic meters, but we have it in terms of liters. The conversion is 1,000 liters per cubic meter, so we have to divide that number by 1,000 to get cubic meters, or 9.87 liters, the conversion factor, we need cubic meters on top, liters at the bottom, one cubic meter is 1,000 liters, so it would be 0 0.00987 meters cubed, and that's the number we need in our equation. So let's put that in here for volume, 0 0.00987 nine eight seven meters cube okay next we need the number of moles and wow then they give us a number of moles so without the number of moles we can't solve this problem so i'll have to make it up all right so in parentheses there's 2.5 moles of the gas <laughs> one thing i forgot to mention so let's put that in here 2.5 moles and then finally, we have the gas constant, which is 8.314. That would be joules per mole times Kelvin. And notice that everything that will then get canceled out except for Kelvin. Kelvin will be the surviving variable here. And now with a calculator, let's figure this out. So times 0 0.00987 divided by 2.5 and divided by 8.314 equals and we have a temperature of 397.6. So temperature is equal to 397.6 Kelvin. And that's how we do that. So the equation itself is fairly easy. We can always solve for one of the five variables in the equation. In this case, well, one of them, of course, is just a constant. So we solve this for T in terms of the other four. And then, of course, make sure we put in pressure in Pascal's volume in cubic meters, moles, of course, in moles, and then the Rydberg, the, the gas constant, which is in joules per mole times Kelvin. So there, that's how you do that, and with the necessary conversions.